I show you a few tips for when you work with the level builder add-on in order to build big scenes fast and with low memory usage. At the moment you see here we are using uh, 61 MB. Um, I will first show you uh, some precautions you can take and then I will uh, speed up. So the <coughs> first thing I do is I press shift plus tab. Uh, so I see here I don't have to look for the snapping uh, thing. Sometimes I can find it and then look here. So I press shift up. I know I have to go here. Uh, <coughs> you press increment and then absolute grid snap. Um, select all these. Press shift return and then then uh, for example you go to flooring and you can click uh, here with the mouse but if you right click and then select these um, items you grab on the x-axis grab x-axis or alt d x and then you press shift r to repeat and then you have a quickly um, a quickly uh, more uh, items that's probably easier than um, clicking with the mouse so um, <coughs> we can add some uh, walls example this <coughs> I can rotate easy I place them here because then I just have to um, repeat it so alt x on x repeat uh, <coughs> I'll y repeat uh, I'll dx repeat and so on now um, I stop talking and then I will uh, fast uh, forward so All right, um, so you see that we can build quite fast um, a scene. Uh, the moment is not really big, but you see that I'm just uh, using 97 uh, megabyte now. Um, you might think, uh, yeah, but then I'm uh, stuck in uh, on those dimensions of um, of a uh, yeah one or two units but that's not really the case for example um, I go to steps choose this one I can do anything with these uh, stairs for example I can scale them on X alright like that uh, or I can scale because the um, origin is there. So it's very easy to scale and to adjust things and things like that. You can scale on uh, the X. So, so these are objects are all linked. I'm now in object mode, but 
and object mode I can uh, scale them independently so they are still uh, linked so um, because they are linked you cannot edit them like that uh, but if I go to object relations the R relations make a local L so I have to press R L A object R L A then I have a few options but if I go in here Uh, snapping off, then extrude. So then I got that is uh, quite uh, cool. So I really like uh, that. So Yeah, this is uh, very powerful. Still 91 MB. And I got uh, this. So I try to fill up the uh, scene. Uh, but it's very uh, hard to I try to use all my um, memory. And it is using uh, one file. If you press N, I go to Level Builder. So this is uh, one file. So I can add another file. Um, so I believe it's this one. And some other asset managers they use different uh, different uh, files. So and this file is only like 50 MB, I believe, with all these uh, assets. So we yeah, have this is also very nice. Uh, let's make this one. I press now number two. I press control. So and then I can snap it and yeah. Really cool is that. And then I get another control. Control. So, so, and another one is that if I select these items and you have, um, how is that called, group uh, pro add-on, then you can uh, use uh, group pro. And the on X, how cool is that? It's snapping exactly where uh, I want. So if I have this group Alt X no uh, control X edit group so that's perfect. Everything uh, perfect if um, it takes otherwise a lot of time. Um, I think uh, that's it. That's it. Maybe I show you another video, but I just want to show you um, what um, benefits it has to use the level builder add-on. All right.